Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the older style 180 watt Bouge RV panel. These are the five bus bar model versus the newer 180 watt Bouge RV panel. These are the nine bus bar panel. Now, the reason I'm putting out this comparison video is because a couple of weeks ago, I compared these panels right here versus some new power and eco worthy panels. And these did not put out very consistent results. And I had quite a bit of shipping damage on these panels when they first arrived. The nine bus bar units have been upgraded with their packaging so they should no longer get damaged and we should see very consistent power out of these. So let's go ahead and jump back a few minutes ago where I actually unboxed these to show you how they arrived and if they had any damage during shipping. And then we'll be doing some testing to compare the new panels versus the old ones to see which ones put out more power. Okay guys, I just got the four replacement panels from Bouge RV. I wanna go ahead and inspect each of these boxes to see if there's any damage. And then we'll go ahead and open them up to see what the solar panels look like. Now these panels were shipped via FedEx just like before, but I can tell you it looks like they've already upgraded the boxes. Uh, they don't look nearly as damaged as they were before. So let's go ahead and start with the first panel. Okay, so I just pulled the panel out. It's really good to see these nice foam protectors on the corner and in front of the glass, it did have this large cardboard sheet. And this is what the panel looks like. So you can see all four corners look really crisp. So no damage on the corners. And I didn't notice any damage on the actual front of the panel. And this is just an example of what the foam looks like. You just take that off and you can see the corner is well protected. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the backs of the panel. Both the corners look good on the back here. Now there is just a little bit of damage on this guy here and just a little bit right here. You can see it's bent a little bit, but overall this panel is in much better condition than the 5BB panels that I got previously. For example, this is what one of the corners looked like. You can see it's just completely bent up and out of square. And uh, you can actually see the exposed glass down in that corner. And here's one of the bent frames of the old panels. You can see it's about a half inch out of square. And I actually tried to bend that as much as I could straight and I couldn't get any straighter. Okay, so I have the three other panels unboxed. Uh, all of them have really nice corners. I haven't noticed any bending in any of the frames. The packaging has been improved quite a bit. Let's go ahead and flip these around so you guys can see the backside. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the back of each of these panels. We'll start with this one here. Uh, I don't see any bends in that one, so that one is really good on the back. This one as well, very good. I don't see any bends or dents. Uh, this one, fairly good as well. I do see one uh, little bit of damage right there on that screw hole. Um, so it looks like uh, for the most part, all these panels showed up pretty good. I'm not too worried about the backside. You can straighten those out. Let's go ahead and do some testing to see how much power we get out of each one of these. Now I have each of the panels angled towards the sun sitting on a chair. I want to go ahead and show you the equipment that I'll be using to measure the output of each panel. So here at the back of the panels, you can see how all the leads are ready to be plugged in. Now I'm using my 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It's sitting at 50% state of charge. So the voltage should stay the same the entire time. I'm just gonna connect up the leads straight into the charge controller and it should show us what we're getting. This is my Blue Sky MPPT solar charge controller. It is a 20 amp charge controller. So plugging in the first panel, you can see we're getting 149 watts, sitting right around 17.9 volts at 8.3 amps. Now I have the second panel plugged in. Let's go ahead and see what we're getting. Panel number two, 149 watts, 17.7 volts at 8.4 amps. Okay, so panel number three, we're getting 152 watts, 17.6 volts at 8.68 amps. Okay, I've gone ahead and hooked up the last panel. Let's see what power we're getting on that one. Okay, so on the fourth panel, we are getting 153, 154 watts, 17.7 volts at 8.72 amps. Now in this video, you can see we're not getting maximum power output from these panels. The conditions aren't perfect. The whole purpose of this video is to compare them to the older style panels under similar conditions so we can see which one puts out more power. Now as for the solar conditions today, it's right around 77 degrees. Now there are some high clouds and haze, so the conditions aren't perfect. So what I wanna do is compare these newer panels to the old panels to see the difference in power. Okay, so I'm here at the old panels. These are the 5BB models that were damaged. Let's go ahead and plug into the first one and see what power we get on the charge controller. Okay, so panel number one, I'm getting 110 watts, 17.3 volts at 6.35 amps. Now plugging into panel number two, we are seeing 122 watts, 17.4 volts at seven amps. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and test panel number three. This is the best performing panel in the past. Let's see what we're getting on the charge controller. Okay, so we're getting 146 watts, 17.39 volts at 8.45 amps. Okay, so panel number four, this is the worst performing panel out of all four of them. We got 94 watts, 17.2 volts at 5.5 amps. Now these panels are very similar in size. The 5BB panel is 58 and a quarter inches tall by 26 and a quarter inches wide. The 9BB panel is only an eighth of an inch wider. Now looking at the spec sheet of each panel, starting with the 5BB panel, you can see this one is sourced from Malaysia and it has just some of the basic information. Moving on to the 9BB panel, you can see these are sourced from Vietnam and I like that it actually has Bujarvi's contact information so it makes it easier to contact them if there's an issue. Now, after I completed the testing, I decided to disassemble the old panels and inspect them a little bit closer. And on two of the panels, I actually had these melted corners of some of the cells. You can see they got really hot and maybe short circuited or something. And it actually melted the backing of the solar panel. So it appears this is the damage that was causing the lesser power. Now, a few days later, I did have a chance to swap out the damaged panels to the new panels in my portable rack. And just to give you guys an idea, with the old damage panels, I was seeing around 450 watts or so, even under the best conditions. Now with the new panels installed, I'm seeing 660 watts. Very good to actually get full power from these panels again. Okay guys, well there you have it. The old style versus the new style, both 180 watts, and we saw quite a bit of difference between these two sets of panels. Now I definitely liked the upgraded packaging for these new nine bus bar solar panels. I didn't see hardly any damage on these compared to the old panels that I got previously. So I think Bouge RV has definitely upgraded the packaging for the newer style panels, and we did see more power output from them. So throw a comment down below about your experience with Bouge RV. I was happy to get these ones replaced since I was seeing such little power from those. Now I will be doing an update video down the road because these ones will be out every single day uh, for as long as I'm gonna use them. So maybe in six months to a year, I'll do an update video about if these ones are still putting out max power.